Yeah, yo, what's poppin'? My name is Nia B. Chinin' with me is Mto Weezy. This is the shakedown. It's going down. And don't frown, cause we some clowns. Uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, no? Um, mm. That's a good intro. That's no, a good intro. <laughs> I mean, yeah. haters go hate. And potatoes gone. Go potato <laughs> is what it is. Um, dude. Mm hmm It's Kanye's baby shower on Friday. <laughs> Dr. Kanye's baby shower. I'm super excited. On Saturday, sorry, I said Friday, but on Saturday. I'm super excited. Um I don't know what to get her for a gift. You have a bolcho gift, yeah! No. Ooh, honey boo boo chow. So I don't know what to do. Um <sighs> I got her a gift, but I think what we can give her in addition to the gift mm -hmm. is support. Like, we need to support her. It's her first okay. baby. Okay. She's new to the whole experience. Mm -hmm. So we kind of need to figure out, like, how can we help her outside of giving just, like, a physical gift. gifts. Yeah. Also, like, I I've never babysitted someone else's child before. Or, is you it know. babysitted or babysat? Both sound right to uh, me. That's my thing. I haven't sat down with someone else's baby. baby. <laughs> I haven't taken care of someone else's baby while they are not there. There we go. Yeah. So one night they might call us and say, yo, Niam Tor, can you watch over, you know, the baby because it's date night mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever the case what might be. What to do in the case of an emergency. Yeah. I have, I think, someone who can help. Okay. Give me one second. Let me just switch the song. Do you know that, that um, Uncle Vinny Dog? Oh! <laughs> How did he do it? <laughs> Like, it's it goes like, okay, and then <laughs> it does not look. He grinds like that. It does that. not look right. But it's more like in like the chest area. <laughs> <laughs> it goes like that. Anyway, um, <laughs> I was saying, there's someone that I think can help. Okay. Um, a friend of mine, Didi. Okay. Um, she has a newborn, a well, fairly newborn baby, like eight months. So she, and she's like a whole mommy vlogger, you know, all okay, of that cool. stuff on Instagram. So that's her page. Let's see. Um, I think she can give us some, some chips. Chips. Okay, you. Just oh. the chips. Oh. How adorable. So adorable. Okay, cool. Hit her up and <gasps> Okay, wait, take this away from me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hit her up and see how Super she can help cute. us. Yeah, so I'll give her a ring and um, we'll probably meet with her at her place. Okay. And yeah, have chats. She can, she can help us out. <gasps> okay. I just hope everything goes smoothly. You know? All right. Let's do it! Um, okay. Hey guys, what is up? It's Nia Brown. And um, we have a baby shower coming up very soon. And we, we want to get some gifts. We don't quite know what yet. But one of the other gifts that we would love to give Dr. Kanyele, because it's her baby shower, is babysitting time. Okay? So... I have just arrived at my friend Didi's place. Um, she's got a baby. She's got an eight month old baby, super cute. And she is definitely the best person to give us advice on what we need to do when taking care of a baby or when babysitting, right? But um, Mtor's not here. I don't see his car anywhere. So I wanna give him a call and see oh, where he is. Ooh, that's very loud. It's ringing. Mm -hmm. 
<gasps> what? I better call him again. Because I'm like that. I'm like the crazy girlfriend where like if you don't respond and you don't pick up the phone, I will call you 25 times until you do. Now he's just ignoring my phone calls. What did I do? What did I do? Well, there you have it. Um, I guess we're just not going to get a hold of him tour today. But it's cool because I still need to find out what on earth to do when I'm taking care of a baby. So now for new moms, right? Because um, you were a new mom not so long ago. Yeah. But um, is it also important to take time out and time away from the baby? Because I can imagine like as Kanya's friend... At some point, I'm going to be like, girl, when are we going out for yes, a drink yes. and all of that stuff? Like, yeah. how soon after the baby is born should you encourage the mom to go out for dinner, for lunch, whatever I think as is. early as possible. Yeah. I remember I was out on a date with my husband literally in the first week. Oh, wow. And okay. I think that's because my, mo my mother encouraged me. Uh, she told me that um, your marriage was there before the baby mm. your life. You had a life before the baby. Mm. And just because you a, you're a mother now, it shouldn't affect the fact that you still have a life outside mm. of the baby so yes as a friend reach out to her and ask her if she'd like to have a drink or mm -hmm. go out for dinner but in the same respect you need to be understanding that she's a new mom mm. and she might agree to go out today but when the time comes in she a few days time no. she might be feeling like actually i would rather take a nap right now mm. so give the mom grace um, and understand that like i said earlier it's not personal mm -hmm. um understand that she's in a new season of her life and things things in the beginning might not be as structured as they used to be or yeah. she might not be as flexible as she used to be but don't stop um now and again asking like making her part of your life you mm -hmm. don't want her to now feel like she doesn't have friends anymore yes. because she's a new mom yeah. so now and again check in on her and ask her to if she'd like to go out but still give her the grace to to change her mind mm -hmm. um recently i connected with a new mom on instagram and we're like we'd actually make cool friends oh nice um, but she happens to stay in cape town yeah so she came to Joburg recently to see family and obviously for everyone to meet the baby mm. and she obviously texted me saying oh i'm around for the next few days and we should catch breakfast mm. um before i go back to cape town and i said to her that would be lovely but trust me if you happen to feel that you'd rather spend time with your family since you don't see them often or you'd rather rest because a ba newborn babies are very demanding mm. then i completely understand mm. you don't need to feel pressured mm. to meet up with me yeah and that's the kind of support a new mom needs it yeah. makes all the difference in the world yeah and i could tell that she really appreciated it because sometimes we do things to try please people but when we know that people are comfortable with us saying no and setting our boundaries yes. and respecting our decisions then it makes all the difference in the world because you can't be everything to everyone especially when you're a new well, mom yeah. you need to be everything to your baby absolutely and your husband if you're married <laughs> absolutely right? yeah. yes and in terms of support as well i mean if if you know kanya says okay can you come and babysit the baby today mm. I do know that some parents are very particular about nap time. Yes. What time is snack time? What time do they yes. eat? What time do they sleep? What time do they I'm bath? one of those parents. Really? I am too. So um, before I get into that, so AJ is on a, a sleep routine. Mm -hmm. Well, a, a schedule, mm -hmm. um, whether it's sleeping, feeding, bathing, he's on a schedule. And that's because we decided early, um, earlier on, mm. uh, I think he was two months, um, to get a sleep trainer and I think that oh, wow. that would be if I had if you had to ask me what to gift um, her for the baby shower mm -hmm. I'd definitely say um, gift her a sleep training package so wow. we invested in that um, earlier on and it's been amazing so right now I can tell you what AJ is doing I know he's currently taking a nap mm -hmm. and it's only for 15 minutes and then when he wakes up he's gonna have his milk at 10 why is the sleep training so important to to you it's so important to me because it, it brings structure to my life mm -hmm. um i don't have to because i see most new moms complaining about being exhausted 
and being up, having stayed up all night. And we also went through that for the first two months. But mm -hmm. ever since we went on a routine, like right now, I know that if AJ goes to bed at 7 p.m., he's going to wake up only at 7 a.m. the next morning, okay. which means I get to have a full night's rest. Mm -hmm. And someone like Kanya, who's a doctor, at some point she's going to need to go back to work. Yes. So having knowing her, child, her child's routine um, will put her at ease as well. When she's at work, she'll know that at this time, my baby's doing this. Mm -hmm. And even when she is home, she can still get the rest she needs so that mm. she can be available to take care of the baby as best as she can and also be present to still do other things in life instead of thinking, when the baby sleeps, I need to sleep. Or yeah. I'm so exhausted, I can't do this, I'm feeling overwhelmed. So um, having a sleep routine brings some sort of structure to a mother's life. Yeah. And you can still get to do other things outside of being a mom when yeah. you know that there's structure. So definitely... Um, the best gift for a new mom. That is a good gift. Um, and then to go back to answering your question, mm. um, if the baby's on a routine, you need to, and you babysitting, of, of course, you need to make sure that you stick to the routine. Mm. So respect the baby's routine. I know sometimes when people come over to my house, example, if my mom comes over, sometimes she feels like, no, just leave the baby not mm. to sleep. Or when mm. you visit family and people don't necessarily understand why the baby needs to sleep at a certain time. Mm. So it's so important for people to respect the routine so that the mother doesn't have to go through the struggle yes. of getting them back yes. into the routine. Because um, not sticking to it could affect um, the baby, obviously. So stick to the routine. Um, be interested. Find out... Um, what the baby's like when they need a nappy change. Mm. Find out what the baby's allergic to. It's so important. Mm. Those are like small things, but if if avoided, could lead to bigger issues. Because mm. you don't want you don't you don't want a situation where you're left with the baby and they suddenly have a reaction and you're not really sure what they what to do or, or what like to yes do. yeah. So find out if ba baby has any allergies and then also find out if the baby has any like a medicine box um, and find out what medicine he needs to take at like certain times or if he does happen to have a reaction to something what you need to give the baby so yeah stuff okay. like that is very important okay I cool can hear my baby talking oh, upstairs. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right Didi, thank you so much i feel armed with the knowledge and the power <laughs> to be understanding towards kanya to be supportive ways in which to be supportive um and obviously to babysit as well. I feel yeah. like I could I could do a really good job. So thank you so much for chatting. To Just me today. one more tip for babysitting. Always remember, calm person, calm baby. So Yay. when babies cry, don't panic. Babies cry all the time. Yeah. It's normal. They're not okay. gonna die. <laughs> okay, cool. I feel like I might get into panic mode, but I'm gonna try and just remember your advice and center myself. Yes. Make sure that I don't panic. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Oh. I hope that was helpful. No, it was very helpful. It was. Give AJ a big hug for me. I will. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you so much. So that's a wrap. If you have a friend that is about to give birth, that's the advice. Okay. That's the advice I'm taking. That's the advice you should be taking as well. Um, it's a pity that Mtor's not here because I don't think I'm going to share any of this info <laughs> with him. He'll see himself. Right? <laughs> so that's just the pace holder. The real present is from Build It. It's coming later. No? <laughs> yeah. 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 I can't let me go. You. I know. I'm appreciating all of these. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh, thank you, guys. I wonder what that is. Okay, so 
imagine every house yeah, a traveling one. Yes, I don't know the little one, Shasha Keza. Shasha Keza! Shasha Keza! Oh, how many bars? Oh, oh, but that is so good. I need one for myself because the bath, I can't fit in the bath because I just slide down. I might need to sit down there in this thing myself. Now you're going to fit better than me. Hey, I'll fit on the plane. I got a blue one. 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 I'm not going to be blue. We're leaving with some cake. Dr. Kanyile's baby shower was beautiful. Time for us to go now because we are road tripping back to Johannesburg <laughs> from Ferienchen. <laughs> but it was such a lovely day. It was beautiful. Family was there, friends were there. And it was beautiful to see just all the like love and support that she has. Um, so yeah, we can't wait until the baby arrives. Woop <laughs> Hashtag Bye. baby Lenake. Baby love no. Baby love no.